The victim is Stephanie Riley. She was Carla Fulford's assistant. Fulford and three others were brought to the hospital with injuries. There are extra security at the hospital? Already posted. I'm on my way for a briefing right now. Mm. Unless... No, Joe, I'm good. I got this. I'm glad you and Rex are all right. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Sir. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What do we got? Uh, the device contained a plastic explosive linked with Semtex. It was a contained bomb designed to damage the vehicle and its occupants. The explosives unit is analyzing the debris we found. The Fulford's vehicle went straight from the hotel parking garage to Kitty Bibby. Any cameras or tenants at the garage? No, no, but Fulford's campaign manager, Cameron Sanchez, said that everyone who should have had this schedule would also have been in the SUV when the bomb was supposed to be detonated. Minister Fulford, of course, was expected in the car, but there was also supposed to be Mabel Holness, Cameron Sanchez. Yeah, and Brandon Keeler local poster boy for Fulford's campaign launch. Got his life back on track after his wife died five years ago because of an overdose. Brandon himself spent five years in prison for drug charges. So his mother-in-law, uh, Karina Wheeler, she took care of his kid while he was in jail. Regardless, Brandon's behavioral profile, including his status as an addict in recovery and his previous incarceration, doesn't really line up with what you would expect to see in a bomber. You think the bomb was a political statement? Well, he was likely someone who was feeling aggrieved and powerless. The bomber cast themselves as David to the target's Goliath. Okay, and what about the tipster? He has to be involved somehow. His intel came from somewhere. He claims to have no link to Fulford or anybody she works with and says he doesn't know who planted the bomb. Okay, Rex and I'll check him out. Charlie, it's possible he really doesn't know who planted the bomb. <sighs> the only connection I found between Ted and Fulford's entourage was an online review he wrote for a novel written by Mabel Holness. So what excuse did he give for knowing about the bomb in advance, Jesse? He says he's a time traveler. There are scientists that believe it to be theoretically possible. Jesse. Uh, the important thing is, is that I believe Ted believes what he's saying. Was he showing any other symptoms of psychosis? Um, confused speech, paranoia? No, he seemed totally fine. Except for the whole time traveling thing. I mean, you never know. Sarah, talk to him. Follow up on this whole psychosis angle, and we hold him until we find out what his real story is. Let's go. Tell me how you learned about the bomb on Fulford's SUV. Uh, I saw it on the news a few days after it happened. And what was the report then? Well, in that timeline, uh, Fulford and three others were killed. I'm happy I was able to mitigate that, but uh, I wish I hadn't wasted so much time worrying that you wouldn't believe me. We could have saved that young woman. Uh, can you help me to understand how you move through time? It's, it's not a machine, like, like in the old movies. Um, I navigate through tunnels in space-time. Uh, apart from this event, have you ever felt, heard, seen, or otherwise experienced things that, that other people can't? You're screening me for psychosis. It's okay. Uh, no, I have not experienced any hallucinations. Just the time travel. Hmm. How did